guys, welcome back to your channel. So today we're going to watch and react on a movie I'm really excited about and to watch, to watch with you guys and react on it. And it's called My Dear Fucking Prince. I don't know if it's the original title or if it's the French one since I'm watching on um, Prime Video in France. Anyway, I'm really excited about this movie and this couple and um, yeah, I'm really excited um, to watch it with you guys. Um, first, I, I need to uh, tell you that um, there's a storm going outside since two hours, so if you have cuts during the reaction or if you have weird sounds, that's the storm. I also have the hair conditioner, so if you hear it, it's normal. It's just too hot in here not to use it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm really excited to watch it, so I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm gonna watch it with you guys and react on it, and I will tell you right after what I think about it. See ya. Thousands came to cheer the couple and to cheer the prince's younger brother, Prince Henry. Known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, the wedding reception boasts a who's who of international guests, including Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Mm -hmm. It is the, Ameri the, the, the American prince, a prince, but American president's son, and Henry is the prince of United. Of United Kingdom. You're not gonna want to hear this, but that Prince Henry is so yummy. Nora, no. He's such a snob. I don't know, man. If I was gonna go for a rich white boy, that is the rich white boy I'd go for. But he's the worst kind of rich white boy. So they don't like each other at the beginning, okay. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he is not 6'2". I have heard so much about you. You're sticking with me tonight, come on. How's it going? <laughs> it's not starting so well. It makes me think a bit about uh, The Crown, a show I'm also reacting on. But it's more modern, obviously. I think it's during modern time. Henry! What's up? Long time no see. Tell me something, Your Majesty. Oh my god. Yes, Alex. It just ruined the cake. Coming to you. Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. If you say so, Alex. Great to see you. You too, Your Majesty. Actually, it's Your Royal Highness. Your Majesty is reserved for the king. Oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? <gasps> my goodness. Oh, Jesus. It's getting worse. Oh my god. You'll be fine. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Someone's taking her phone, uh, a picture. Ah, oh, yeah, red, white, royal, blue. That's the title, the original one. Zara will explain everything. I'm really sorry, Mom. I know you are, baby. That's why I need you to fix it. You're flying back to London tonight. What? Why? He's not six foot two. Is he gonna fact shit on me? Yes. What's all about this hate? Like, who cares? I remember that. What's the name of Henry's dog? David. 
I mean, really, who named their dog David? You know I have a Shih Tzu named Jonathan. I still maintain that's weird. That's my son you're talking about. He is super cute. He is. He wants to see some pictures. <laughs> More mystified than I. So, what exactly is an aquarium? Do you uh, handle the horses? Or... I am His Royal Highness's personal attendant. Sir, the butler. I'm not the butler, I'm the aquarium. And back we go to my original question. What is an aquarium? Me. <laughs> You must stand to the right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Should we do this? Yes, sir. They're all yours, Jamie. Big smiles for the camera, please. <laughs> My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Are we finished here? Yes, Your Royal Highness. Dick. <laughs> Can you two scooch in a little closer together? <laughs> She's asking too much. Hmm. Now, you've been mates since you met at the Melbourne Climate Conference several years back. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, we hit it off instantly. Yep. It's like we've known each other all our lives, right? Yep. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> what three words would I use to describe Henry? White, blonde, and British. <laughs> you don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. Well, Come on, do a little flip. No, that's not why. She wants to hear it. Remember, remember the one it was just like, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. don't you do an incredible Barbra Streisand impression? <laughs> Voice of an angel, this one, really. I love hanging out with this guy. How on earth did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. That's good. Centile 33? Yeah. Makes sense. What do you mean by that? It means you got good taste, Alex. Thanks. And why'd you dislike me? <laughs> Climate conference in Melbourne. First night party. I went to introduce myself to you, and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I didn't realize you'd have that. So you do admit that's a douchey thing to say. I could have been nicer. All right, what else? I couldn't have just been the conference. Mm. Oh my God, it is. It is, isn't it? Don't minimize it. How, how could I possibly? It's already as minimal as it gets. For the record, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Oh. <laughs> well, now I feel like I need to apologize. Threat neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. When you say neutralized... It's good he's already in the hospital. <laughs> Just... You don't... Mess up with that. No, no, lo intenté. Deberíamos de vernos pronto. Off the record, of course. No sé mucho, ¿no? Yeah. Well, la escuela ha estado una locura. Yeah, you're always running at full speed. Es lo que te hace tan encantador. Eso y las pestañas. I should get going. Qué buena parte, Miguel. Lo mismo, Alex. So we got that. He had a relationship with a guy. I think this 
uh, bisexual and Anna is gay. I'm not sure. Put on this Look it up. I'm also a world class insomniac. I'm in bed with my dog watching Bake Off. It never occurred to me that the royal family watches television. Well, we all share the same password. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. That's what the big red button is for. Good night. They're really cute. <laughs> They're really, really cute. It's not even together. <laughs> mm. He seems jealous. All in the hips. Listen up. What the hell? They're all kissing each other. Um. Did I do something wrong? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I was an anonymous working class kid from Rush by. And then my mom became president. Who would you be? Be a writer. Live in Paris. certainly date more. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. Oh jeez, that was a case. Alex is so, so surprised, so shocked. Yeah, because it's a friend, so we can't date. And that's so awful for him. So, funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Henry kind of kissed me? I totally, privately. Called that. Oh, shut up, Nora. You did not. Hey, it's my job to analyze data, and he has never once checked me out, and I am what some men would consider exquisite. So from where I'm sitting, Henry is... Kind of gay? More like the first 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. But he's always dating a different girl. Oh, honey. Princes aren't allowed to be gay. You should know that. Did I forget your birthday? Not yet. Do you remember Henry's friend, Percy? Anyway, okay, uh, tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? This is crap. 
grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> um, okay, well, do you two have any appearances coming up? He's supposed to be my guest to the Prime Minister's dinner next month. He can't ignore me all night. Can he? I guess you'll find out. Here he is. Nora, come on. I need your help. Where's the threat? Do we need to clear the room? What? No. I just need to talk to Henry. She's so nervous. She's so cute. Come on, you can do it, Alex. Look, I know I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. Wait a minute. Damn, are they gonna make out here? All right, fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to. Oh, God. <laughs> it's pretending to be looking for a book. This too. It's good to see you and His Royal Highness on better terms and not on the floor. Yes, Prime Minister. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <laughs> Everything all right? <laughs> yes, uh, very excited to be here. Yes, tell me. You're going to stay at least 500 feet away from me for the rest of the night. Sensible plan. I'm not done. Oh, of course you're not. Then at midnight, you're going to come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. You're late. Thank you, but that was very hard. Oh, there's nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm... bisexual. Noted. Uh, just to put it out there, I am as gay as a maple. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what a maple, maple. is. <laughs> right. Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? Oh, oh God, yes. Notorious. Yeah. Notorious for Henry Fox has to belong to himself, or else he'll vanish. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. It's like... I think we should make love tonight. Oh. I'm, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> but I mean, who says make love anymore? We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it? All right, <laughs> all right. It's just, who's gonna do what? Because I'm, I've never, I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. It's a new Texas strategy. I was unaware my campaign had a new Texas strategy. Can you please tell me what it is? If your campaign had read my memo, you'd know. All I said to Miguel is that Texas is competitive and we intend to win it. I didn't think he'd write an article well, about it. Well, he has. So now we have to explain to everyone that we don't, in fact, have a new Texas strategy. You do have a Texas strategy. You just won't implement it. Why aren't you registering a million new voters?
Madam President, do you need me for something? What's the deal with this campaign memo? Mm -hmm. I read your memo. Good work. We're sending you to Texas. Really? You'll have a shoestring budget. You'll eat fast food for every meal. You'll work 18-hour days, and you'll love every minute of it. So what do you say? When do I start? <laughs> but should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams? I can feel your skin against mine, and it makes every bone in my body ache. Henry, seriously. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. I can't have smut filling my inbox, corrupting my mind, and bulging my pants like this. Buenas noches, cabrón. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, just a bit of skullduggery. Let me help you plan it. We need to get up to my room right now. <laughs> I hope this reporter isn't gonna ruin everything by quoting an article or quoting a tweet or something. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? Oh, In the Mood for Love. I've never seen it. God, sometimes I forget how uncultured you Americans are. It is only the swooniest movie of all time. Swooniest? Is that even a word? Yes, of course it is. Have you ever had your heart broken? Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. You have interviews to do. Let's get going. Wake up. Shit, shit, shit. What's going on? Oh, shit. What are you doing? Where is she? Zara, no one is here. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that no one left her phone in here. OK, so she left her phone in here. Big oh. deal. It's all chill, Zara. Where is she? What Hello? are you doing? I can't wait to see how she's going to react to see it's Henry. Good morning. <laughs> She's so Sorry. shocked. She can't Bring speak. Me. Don't you tell me what to do. Do you want to sit? <laughs> okay. Where, where, where do you want to go? Just here? Yeah. Oh, there? Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. I'm fine. Oh, okay. How long has this been going on? Since New Year's. Oh, God. And who knows about this? Literally no one but you. And the Secret Service. And Percy. Right, and Nora. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really happy for us. Oh, I can't wait to see her again. She's really... Okay, shut up, okay? The both of you. I need to think. <laughs> and as for you, little Lord Fuckleroy... You get your ass back to Merry Old England right now. I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Loud and clear. <laughs> She's so funny. Hey. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. What's up? He's an You look very serious. No. <laughs> She's also a he. And he happens to be Henry. As in the Prince of England. Yeah. She needs to sit down. So are you, are you gay, bi, fluid, pan, queer? Quit, <laughs> mom, I'm bi. Oh, all right. Well, you know the B in LGBTQ is not a silent letter. <laughs> yes, thank you, mom. You can have a One more thing. Mm -hmm. 
particular thing? Uh, we didn't go over this particular type of partnering when we had the talk, which is on me for making assumptions. Okay. I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. Oh, my God. And we can we can talk about getting you on Truvada and <laughs> the HPV vaccine, and I can have HHS send oh over some groceries. God. You are ridiculous. I cannot believe they gave you the nuclear codes. And you have to tell your father. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. This is uncharted territory for us. When you're a parent, every day is uncharted territory. And when your child is Alex Claremont Diaz, you get used to the exceptional. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Really nice and very well, he has the eyes of someone in love. I gotta be honest, I thought because he was a prince that uh, he'd be a little more of a candy ass. Yeah, he's tougher than he looks. <laughs> so you like him? Mm. Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. Maybe he knows already. Short time! No! Oh my god, you are such a cretin. No, get off! I've been thinking. Oh, I seriously doubt that. Oh, I seriously doubt that. I've been thinking. We can walk through Austin holding hands, and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. I never felt this way about anyone. What I mean to say is, Henry. I'm This is so sad. But a friend oh, I like this drum to fall in. He doesn't understand. I'm going to let you say what you need to say and then I'd like you to leave. What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy and then you disappear without saying a word? I think you at least owe me an explanation. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you barging in here in the middle of the night. Well, I'm sorry I can't turn my feelings off as easily as you. D do you honestly think this is easy for me? What else am I supposed to think? You won't talk to me. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! I've been losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. I flew across an ocean. I, 
I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything. And if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to be. Sometimes I don't think you know me at all. I'm not like you. I can't afford to be reckless. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. I have centuries of history bearing down on my shoulders. My life is the crown and yours is politics and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you and want you and, and still not want that life. I'm allowed. Right. It makes me a man with some infinitesimal shred of self-preservation and you don't get to come in here and call me a coward for it. I would never call you a coward. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. It is simply not possible and you know it. I'll leave. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life and nothing will ever happen to you. But Henry, nothing will ever happen to you. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please, don't make me. It is the only way you're getting rid of me. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. And if you think otherwise, then you don't know me. There's something I want you to see. What is it? I have a dream of taking somebody I loved here. And he loved it as much as I did. We dance amidst all these statues, just a dark pubescent fantasy. You're gonna dance with me, you know. Because when they write the history of my life, I want it to include you and my love for you. Bet we could make some. I love you. I'll be as patient as you need. The emails, which the mirror is calling the Waterloo Letters, details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of American President Ellen Claremont. Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist to break this story and who has written extensively about it in the week since the leak. Peach, I knew this was you. I hope Henry was watching. I could feel him watching. 
does this thing when he's worried. Furrows his eyebrows. It's just the cutest thing. Oh, God, I miss him. Oh, my God. We just have to take everything out here. Sean Travostava, this is Zara Bankston. Look, I know we said we'd only use these phones in an emergency. Well, <laughs> welcome to that emergency. I've got the first son in my office moving over the prince like a cow in labor, and I'm not going to get any work done until you put these two lovesick homosexuals on the phone with one another. I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham Palace have to say about it. I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Wait, what? I thought you might see my leg as well. You might be lousy at keeping secrets, kiddo, but I'm not. Sarah, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. We'll figure this out. Hurry. Please. I'll break the sound barrier for you. So cute. They used to call me the Prince of England's heart, and now it feels like everyone hates me. Hey, they still love you. They love the idea of me. And now they are faced with the reality. What's your still here? During the Second World War... Why is the king always smoking, like, in the crowd? It's worth the same thing. It is not yours to decide which of the two you will get. I'm as much a part of this family as anyone here, and I deserve to be happy. Henry, no one is suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. I'm... But to throw away your future because of one mad infatuation... <clears throat> Occasionally vulgar, but genuine. However, your primary responsibility is not to your heart, but to your country. And anything other than maintaining the traditional royal image is out of the question. Why is it out of the question? Mr. Claremont Dears, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation is in any way welcome. You are party to this problem, not to its solution. Thank you. I'll ask it then. Right, <clears throat> that's settled then. What is it that we've settled? You're all to go home immediately and, and await further instructions. What's going on outside? Uh, Henry, B, uh, there's a car waiting to take you to KP. Oh my God, Henry, look at this. Henry, B. Kensington Palace immediately and take the American with you. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh and Liverpool. I will no longer be the Prince of Shame. You, you can't go out there. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out yes, there. You Henry, can. God, my boy. Shut you. Shut up. Are you sure this is what you want? I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I think that's up for debate. <laughs> I'm gonna come out. Yeah. Is behind, she's currently... Crikey, that's a lot of red. Yes, it is. It's all gonna come down to Texas. Remind me how this works again. With the blue team, right? What do they teach at that fancy private school? You just say the word, I'll get you enrolled at UT Austin. Turn to Texas. Yellow roses. <laughs> I read it was a thing in Texas. I thought it might bring you some luck. Oh my God. I'm so grateful you're here. 
Mm -hmm. I knew she would win. That elections don't matter. But try telling that to the auto worker in Michigan who worries whether or not their plant will be shut down. Tell that to the transgender high school student. Mm -hmm. Henry's face is like. I don't know how how Americans do that. We won. We won. After you. Wow, you really are working close, aren't you? Oh, shut up, Your Majesty. <laughs> I get that was an amazing movie. I I am not uh, disappointed. Uh, that was what I, I expected of the movie. And I really loved it. Every single of it. And um, oh, they, uh, they get the chemistry going. Um, how they explain that being a prince and being homosexual is difficult even during our modern time. And um, I love that at the end, it, since the the people was uh, with them uh, and still and showed that they still loved the prince, that um, the royal family accepted. Um, that the prince was gay. I really love the actors and um, how they portrayed Alex and um, Henry. And uh, yeah, this was really, really a beautiful movie. I really uh, love um, that they had both uh, an important role for their country and despite that, they still um, wanted to be themselves and wanted to love each other, not separately, but uh, freely. And um, yeah, I, I hope this movie can somehow help to change things uh, for uh, bisexual, homosexual and everything. How people saw them, how, how people see them, and um, that in the royal family, if there is one that is gay or homosexual or anything, that they will be free to be themselves, and that that it won't won't be seen as you know a sin or um, a sickness because that's what it was before and I, I really want people to see it for like it's not a sickness it's not a scene it's it's people loving all the people of the same sex and it's not um it's not so 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 big of a thing you know and um yeah i really love this movie so if you are watch it and you want to watch it, but entirely since I will obviously cut for my reaction video, do it, really do it, it's worth watching. And um, yeah, tell me in the comments what you thought about this movie and uh, what you would like me to react on. And um, I will see you very soon for another reaction. Until then, take care. Bye.